You are inside the office of the cafe, staring at your son's face while he was sleeping. When suddenly your tears started to fall after you remember meeting Jungle again. You thought you already moved on from him, but now you prove that you still haven't forgotten the pain that he caused. You touch Nathan's face. Every time you see your son, you feel guilty because he grew up without a father by his side. But what can you do if his father himself is the first to turn his back on you? Later on, you heard a knock. You open the door immediately before your sons woke up. What? You ask the staff who knocked on the door. Mom, someone is looking for you. You wondered who, since you weren't expecting any visitors. Who? You ask. I don't know him, Mom. The staff answered. So you have no choice to go down to see who it is. When you go down, your staff pointed at the man who was sitting in the corner. His back was turned to you, so you didn't recognize him. You approached the table where he was and asked, Yes, are you looking for me? He turned around and faced you, so you recognized who he was. What are you doing here? Let's talk and fix any misunderstanding that we have. We have nothing more to talk about. Then what about my son? Your whole body suddenly shook with anger when you heard that. And because of that, he couldn't stop pushing his chest so hard that he backed away from where he was standing. Son? Okay, Nathan is your son, but you never act as a father to him because you choose fear over us. You couldn't stop yelling at him. And because of that, your customers look at you. You didn't want to make a scene, so you just calmly told him to leave. I'm not leaving here until you listen to my side, he said. You know Jungkook, he will do exactly what he said. So you drag him to the staff room, so no one could hear you too. You slammed the door to close. But unfortunately, it didn't work. So if someone stands outside, you will hear what are you talking about. Alright. Maybe he will say that I'm unfair because I didn't give you a chance to explain your side. Okay. I give you a chance to speak. You said and stood in the corner. First, Clear and I don't have a relationship. So I don't know where you got the idea that we have a relationship. He calmly explained. You want to know where? Your mom told me. She showed the pictures and videos of you two. Of you together in the same house in the US. She said you two had a relationship and living together. Jungkook's facial expression changed at that time. It was obvious that he was shocked, and now he was sure that his mom was involved in the destruction of your relationship. YN, you know me. I have never lied to you, even once. Believe me, Claire and I have no relationship. Okay, it's true that we live in the same house, but after two days, I moved because I wasn't comfortable with her. Then, why did you cut up our communication? I never did that. When my social media got hacked, I created a new one. But you didn't answer even one of my emails, chats, or calls. I thought you avoided me after getting pregnant by another guy. I'm sorry, but that's what my mom said. But believe me, I'm trying to reach you so I can know from you what's true. Because I know you can't do that to me. I sure remember that you blocked Jungkook in your anger after you found out he cheated on you. If that's so, at least I found out that you didn't cheat on me. You can go now. Why, and we can still fix our relationship. 
I still love you, and I was even more determined to fix it when I found out that we had a child. A lot has happened, Jungkook. We have been hurt so much. It's hard to forget what happened. But it's not our fault. We both victims here. It's all misunderstanding and lack of communication. Let's give each other a second chance. Especially now that we have a child. I'm sorry. I can't do that. As you walk towards to the door, Richard Cook held your hand and pulled you to his embrace. That makes you weak because honestly, you are longing for his embrace, his care, his existence. What should I do to change your decision? I will do everything to make you come back to me. Junko said while hugging you tightly and crying. You broke the hug and stepped back. I'm sorry, you said and went out the door. So you were surprised to see your sister and Nathan standing outside. Mommy, is it true that he is my dad? Your son asked while staring at Jungkook, who is standing behind you. As you realize that they are what you talk about, you don't know what to answer. You don't want to lie to Nathan, so you just bite your lips and nod. Your son was just stand and walk going to Junko. He just stared at his face. He don't know what he was thinking at that time. Remember me? We met earlier at the Taekwondo school, Junko said. Is that so I'm allergic to chocolate and I love banana milk because I'm your son? I think so, Junko said as he burst into tears and hugged his son. You can't look at them because you know they are both hurt and seeing them hurts goes through your heart. After all, Jungkook is right. You are both victims of what is happening. But the biggest victim is your son. You go up and left them at the downstairs. Hi, I'm my sister. Jungkook lift his son and say, I'm Jung Jungkook. Sorry for what happened. You were crying upstairs until the door opened. Your sister came in and automatically hugs you. Just cry. I'm here. Where are they? Don't worry. They are just talking downstairs. I saw you struggling. And honestly, it hurts on my part. You don't know how much I wanted to kill Nathan's dog. But when I heard what you talked about earlier, I realized it was right. You are both victims here. I know you are hurting. You are struggled alone raising Nathan. But why if you can blame everything on Jungkook? You had a mistake too. Why did you believe his mom? Why you didn't answer his email chat and call? I hope you know what's really true of those times. Jungkook is also wrong for believing his mom. When he said he still loves you, I felt he, he was telling the truth. The sincerity was there. I'll ask you, do you still love him? You cry even more. I hate him only. I hate him so much. I am even more angry with him because until now, he's still the person that makes my heart beat. Then what are you waiting for? Waiting until you lose the person who truly loves you and you love? 
Thank you. Can I visit Nathan again? Sure. Just come here if you want to see Nathan. Daddy, you're coming back, aren't you? Of course. I will come here. The jungle looks around. Obviously, he is looking for you. Let's leave Ryan first. Maybe she's not ready for what's happening. I understand, Jungkook replied. He kissed Nathan on the forehead and quickly left the cafe as he got into his car. He was about to close the door when suddenly someone grabbed his hand. His eyes widened when he saw you. He immediately got out of his car. Are you sure we can fix our relationship? You ask. I'm 100% sure. We trust each other, right? You nod. As he hugs you. I miss you so much. He said. And kiss your forehead. Jinko came home as he saw his mom in the living room. Where did you come from? Fix my family? What did you do, mom? Are you happy that you destroyed my family? Why am I struggling so much because of you? Why are you blaming me? Who do I blame then? Why am I got pregnant without me? She raised my child alone because she didn't tell me she was pregnant. Clear blank this. Clear blank it all. What? She planned all of this? Then you did nothing? Instead, you let her destroy my family? What kind of mother are you? Jungkook's mom stopped. On her son's words. Look at him, mom. No need for DNA test to prove that Nathan is my son. But since you don't believe, why am I already agree that he will fake a DNA test? Jungkook said, but throwing his phone with a picture of Nathan on Jungkook. Jungkook's mom seems embarrassed when she saw her grandsons who looked just like his son. Nathan and Jungkook have done a daily test, and this day is the day the results will come out. Are you nervous? Why should I? I'm very confident that you two are much, you answer. I know we're much, I'm just asking, because I am nervous, because after this, we're going to get married. For real? For real? As I promise, we'll get married when I come back. And then suddenly someone spoke behind his ear. As you two saw Claire and Jungkook's mom. Are you sure you're going to marry her? What do you mean? What if that child is not yours? They're about to say something, but the person came out with the results of the DNA test. Claire immediately grabbed it and opened it. I knew it! She's lying! Jungko, that child is not yours! She said, and about to slap him, but Jungko blocked her hand as he held it tightly. Don't dare to hurt my wife! This is enough, clear. I will not allow you to destroy my family anymore. You can go out now. Arrest her. When Jungkook said that you can go out now, four police officers came out and arrested Clear for tampering the DNA result. Mom, do something! I'm sorry, Clear. I won't allow you to destroy the family. And hurt my child anymore. Actually, 
Jungkook's mom felt guilty when she saw Nathan's picture because it was really Jungkook's face, especially when he was young. After two days, she came to you to ask for forgiveness and that for the first time, she saw her grandson. You told her that you are not ready to forgive her, but she understood that. She knows that she has to regret what she did to you. And that's when she told you and Jungkook about Claire's plan to sabotage the DNA result. Jungkook and Nathan did a DNA test to another clinic without Claire knowing, and the results were 99.9 positive. Before they did a DNA at the clinic referred by Claire. Claire didn't know that Jungkook had a plan to make her pay for everything she did. This time, Jungkook mom was ready to face the consequences. Even if Claire even withdrew all her investment and her company. And because of that, I realized that maybe Jungkook's mom is really sorry for what she did to you. But of course, it's not easy to forgive. She has to work hard to make you trust her. And now, you and Jungkook have been married for two years, living peacefully far from the city. Every day, Jungkook's mom calls and visits every week. Little by little, your relationship is getting okay. At the end of the day, you are still a family. And about Claire, she's still in the prison, paying for his sins. The end. Thank you for watching Coolies. Good night.